the hour of harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service tonight. We hope you're not too busy to stay with us because we have some singing coming up. We have some phone operators and we're all here to talk and sing and worship the Lord. And I know it's been a busy weekend, everybody on the go, but it's always good to take time to just settle back down and get your mind on the Lord for a while. So we welcome all of you, especially our second shut-ins, or the ones that sit in the hospitals, the jails and prisons and so forth, the ones that can't get out and go to church anymore, can't get out and go do your shopping. And the ones that feel like they're kind of shut off, well, we always think about the people like this. When we schedule singers to come in, they come to do live singing to help you know we're all still working for the same reason, and that is to exalt the name of the Lord. Tonight I want to read some scripture. It's really, really good. This is a... a I became acquainted with this scripture back when I was uh, first year I went to uh, Bible school, uh, Bible camp as a, as a kid. Uh, we had to memorize this. And so I've always remembered this. And it's um, Romans the 12th chapter. It's on the behavior of Christians, how, what we're supposed to be following. And so let's, uh, let's see what it says. Romans 12. I, believe, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And to uh, not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, though through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to, uh, but to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Christ, and every one member one of another. Having then gifts differing, According to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy. According to the proportion of our faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministering. Or he that teacheth on teaching. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is evil, and cleave to that which is good. Be kindly afflict, affected one to another with brotherly love, and honor preferring one another. Not slowful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Distributing to the necessity of the saints given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. For if it, uh, as it, if it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, 
Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's Romans the 12th chapter, 1 through 21 verses. This is like our guideline as a Christian, what we're supposed to be doing. And you know, any, about any time that you, you read this, you'll, you'll run across the scripture. Well, you think, oh, well, I'm, I might be uh, uh, lacking or not keeping up with that one. And so it's always time for improvement. It's always encouragement to do what the scripture says so that we'll be accepted by the Lord. And um, so tonight, if you need something from the Lord, just remember, He knows all about you. You can't hide anything from Him. You can't tell Him anything. He knows it all. But He has told us to bring our request before Him. So that's why we, we believe so strong in praying. And prayers of agreement are really, really strong. So, uh, so let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank You for this guideline, the Bible that we have to go by. We thank you, Lord, that you do when there's a weakness in our life. You will give us strength to overcome it if we ask you. And if we believe it, we shall receive. So, Lord, tonight, for the Christian people, I thank you for the uh, things we've been hearing about how the churches are being blessed and people being saved. And so tonight, Lord, I just ask you to speak to the hearts of all of us that we, if in any of these areas that we are lacking or just not measuring up, they would help us to be honest and straightforward and say, I've missed it. I need to do better. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we want to, as the scripture says, present ourselves as a living sacrifice to you. And so we thank you, Lord, that you can use us. We are your hands and feet on this earth. And so help us to do a good job. Bless everyone that's been with us for this service. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, if you have a prayer request, a praise report, feel free to call. We have people up there to answer your call, and, and we will be glad to hear from you. All right, tonight our guest is from Louisa, Kentucky, the uh, uh, Living Water, and they're from Louisa, like I said, and... They do have CDs. The phone number to get in touch with them is 606-686-3632. And they're from the Baker Chapel Church and the Emmanuel uh, Baptist Church. So, all right, let's welcome Living Water.
Like they said, we're living water from down Louise away. And uh, a lot of people think we're entertainers, but we're not. We're worshipers. So if you ask us to come be with you, expect us to be worshipers because that's what we are. I guess I'll introduce us while I got the chance over here on the right. Shauna Smith, cousin Shauna, plays the mandolin, back up and lead vocals. And cousin Betty plays the bass and back up and lead vocals. And I'm Ken Adams. I do the picking. But we're happy to be here tonight. And maybe we can share a little worship with somebody. Oh, I believe. Soldiers, angry soldiers, they pierced his side and I know he cried, he suffered just for me. He suffered just, just for me. As you walk along life's road, you'll stumble, maybe fall. My Savior called, saying, Father, Father forgive what they do. Cause I believe, I believe, my Jesus hung from a cruel cross, free died for me. let Betty do you one. This is the one she wrote, and uh, it uh, it's quite popular. It's one of our number one requested songs, so just listen real close to it. And put a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in church? And everyone just seems so down, and when you said praise the Lord, praise the Lord, half the congregation Say you know the master, 
I see the blood washed throne. I hear them singing. It's a brand new song. Well, I've been redeemed by the precious lamb. Jesus, never more to die. Hallelujah. In glory land. Come and go with me. Come and go with me to glory land. that was a blessing. Shana always gets blessed on that one. It's the hard, hardest thing to do is get her to keep picking and when you go to shout please turn your head away from the mic. <laughs> but you'll have that. We're just country people. We mess up and we don't care a bit because we're just regular old people and people seem to appreciate that we're not perfect. I mean we do the best we can and we ask for you to pray for us because out there on the road it gets tough sometimes. But we're commanded to do God's will and obey as much as possible. Where would you that at? Huh? Yeah. D. Okay. You know, one thing about it, we're the only ones that can get ourselves into heaven. Brother Kenny, Sister Betty, Sister Margaret, none of them can get us there. It's us, by and through the blood of Jesus. So if you're here in this audience tonight and you don't know Jesus, give your life to him tonight. Don't put it off. You got to walk. You got to walk. That lonesome valley. That lonesome valley. You got to go. You got to go. 
there by yourself. There by yourself. Nobody here. Nobody here. Can go there for you. Can go there for you. You got to go. Mama had to walk. She had to walk. That lonesome valley. That lonesome valley. She had to go. She had to go. There by herself. There by herself. Nobody here. Nobody here. Could go there for her. Could go there for her. You got to go. You got to go there, there by herself. And you was. Bible hero. He was a prophet, brave and true. In a den of hungry lions, he proved what faith in God could do. Daddy had to walk. He had to walk. That lonesome valley. That lonesome valley. He had to go. He had to go. There by himself. Nobody here. Nobody here. Go there for him. Can go there for him. He had to go. He had to go there by himself. Here comes John preaching the gospel, telling of the one to come. Repent and be baptized for salvation. Had to walk. He had to walk that lonesome valley. That lonesome valley. He had to go. He had to go there by himself. There by himself. Nobody here. Nobody here. Go there for him. Can go there for him. He had to go. He had to go there, there by, by himself. himself. Got to walk. You got to walk. That lonesome valley. That lonesome valley. You got to go. You got to go. There by yourself. There by yourself. Nobody here. Nobody here. Can go there for you. Can go there for you. you got to go. You got to go there, there by, by yourself. yourself. Sneak a drink of water here real quick. We're going to do one now that uh, I think the world of. It changed my perspective on, and my point of view at an important time in my life. I'd lost a son. And I was having a hard time with it. And uh, we w had to go out and do a benefit one night. Larry Cordell shows up. And he did this song, and it touched me, and it deepened my heart, and it inspired me to try to stop looking at things my way and start looking at things God's way. And hopefully it'll, it'll help you too. Uh, Larry called it uh, a different title. I call it a letter from heaven. But I hope it blesses you. Friends, I'm home safe. The hard journey is over. I sent you this link just to give you some peace. With me, all is well. Now that I've seen Jesus, 
His healing is perfect. Don't weep for me. Cause I'm not really gone. Just gone on before. Not dead but alive. Forevermore. Just look around. You can be sure I'm not really gone I'm just gone on before I'm in the songs That you still love singing I'm in the laughter you share and the love in your heart. I'm in the wind that whispers at midnight and in the great beyond when you look at the stars. I can't, I can't come, come back, back to you, you but you, you can, can still, still come, come to me. me. There's no, no tears, tears in heaven, heaven and when, when you get here, then you will see. I'm not really gone, just gone on before. Not dead, but alive. Forevermore Let's look around You can be sure I'm not really gone I'm just gone on before Not really gone, just gone home before. What? What do you want to do? Oh, that's a good old song. I'd like to send that last song out to Wanda Webb and Cindy Lane that goes to church with me. They both lost their husbands. And that song's special to them. And I'd also like to send that out to Frida and Mac Laney. They lost their daughter. They didn't lose her. They know where she's at. She's in heaven. We'll go back and do another old tune. I love them old tunes. Uh, sometimes I think the older they are, the better I like them because it brings back so many memories sitting on the front porch and picking.
I'm traveling up that King's Highway. I'm traveling up that King's Highway. Got old Satan on my track, never think of looking back. I'm traveling up that King's Highway. There's honey, honey in that, that rock for me. Honey in that rock for me. Honey in that rock beyond the mountain top. Honey in that rock. thinking of that song. Where we do that at? at a, B, B. A. Okay. Now, everybody knows this old song, so don't be afraid to just sing right along with us. And I hope the girls can keep up on this one. Jesus, our 
Get your drink of water. You're going to need it. I'm going to work these girls a little bit. They do this song. It's an old sing-along, but it just blesses me to pieces every time they do it because, again, it brings back the old memories sitting in the old church. And uh, I had a different childhood with Mama's old regular Baptist. And I guess you all know what that means. Strict by the book, that's it. Dad was Pentecostal. So you can, you can imagine the conversation we had around the dinner table, but both love the old gospel songs, and they all bring back memories, and, and, and I cherish them. And this was one of Mom's favorite songs. That ought to paint a picture. Give me one more song. Well, I send this out to my church at Baker Chapel. And my niece, Kenley, and my granddaughter, Chloe, and all the little kids that love this song, Maddie, Haley, Chase, Haley, and Weston. No more. 
All right, thanks tonight to our guest, Living Waters from Louisa, Kentucky, for being our guest. And remember, they do have CDs. If you'd like to order them, call them at 606-686-3632. And they're from uh, a couple of churches up there, uh, Baker uh, Chapel Church and Emmanuel Baptist Church. So it's good to see people get along from different churches. All right, we, uh, from the phones, we have uh, Nancy from Flemingsburg said she has health problems and for her daughter uh, also, and uh, uh, she's complimenting the singers tonight, so she liked them. And all, this one came in tonight from all the way up in Connecticut. If you, if you remember where, how the states go, that's quite a ways from this little place called Beteville, Kentucky. All right, Manchester, Connecticut, George and Bobby. Colleen has called in for them. They have both had open heart surgery, but they're doing fine, and it's a praise report. So they've been, we've been praying for these, but we didn't know uh, they're from Manchester, Connecticut. So thank you for calling and letting us know we're, we're uh, live up there. So. And that is a good praise report that George and Bobby both have had open heart surgery, but doing well. All right, from Breathitt County, we have this one from the county judge, Jeff Noble. He uh, is sick and needs everyone's prayer right now. And uh, Jeff Noble. From Pike County, we have Wanda that is called. She's called in a $20 pledge to the ministry in memory of her husband, Gary. That's uh, from Wanda in Pike County, $20 in memory of her husband, Gary. We appreciate that because in the summer months, it's really, really difficult around here to keep things going because uh, so many uh, are on the go. All right, from Fayette County, Janice has called in a nice uh, a compliment, said she, uh, the Bible reading is such a blessing to her and she loves WRJC and the singers are great tonight. Thank you, Janice, for those that, uh, good vote of confidence there. And uh, we do what we do because we know the Lord is real and we know He's coming back to get us someday and we will answer to Him. You know, sometimes you think, well, I don't have to answer to anybody. Well, you might not hear, 
But we will answer to God, whether you want to or not. We're, we will answer to Him for what we, how we lived here. Uh, Joyce from Scott County has called in for John's mother. She has three broken ribs and fluid on her lungs and pneumonia. That's a sick person. The Howard family uh, from uh, Mar uh, Marcella from Laurel County has called in for the Howard family, a special unspoken request. Joyce from Johnson County has uh, health issues. And from Dayton, Ohio, Jeff is having trouble with his leg and, uh, and also uh, can't walk is in the nursing home and they're having trouble with the insurance. This one says, pray for a sister friend that's looking to buy a house. And also for Aunt uh, Glenda and sister uh, Brenda and Paul. From Pike County, uh, just needs prayer, it says. Well, uh, you know, the Lord knows all about that, and we are to bring our request to Him, and He knows. We can't not tell Him anything. You know, this is always such amazement to me that how people can think they can deceive, they can play church, they can do all these things and think they're fooling people and God. You know, that's to me, that is the most foolish thing. How can we deceive God when He knows every thought we're going to uh, have, every word we're going to say, and then we think we can fool him, we can deceive him in some way. I tell you, it's, uh, it's bad if that's the way you're thinking because he knows everything about us. And I'm glad because that makes me feel more secure because I know he loves me and he knows all about me. He knows I'm not perfect, but he loves me and he doesn't kick me out just because I'm not perfect. All right, unspoken request from, uh, for someone's kidneys and knees are having trouble. Well, I can sympathize with that. It's a little bad to have knee problems. Uh, from Danville, Shirley has cancer and needs prayer. From Madison County, Rebecca, pray for her family. This one is from uh, Jackson, uh, from Linda, for two sons and a granddaughter. Uh, 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 some, one of them have, has a brain aneurysm and someone needs to be saved. Sharon from Floyd County, for, she wants prayer for strength, not feeling well. We hear this so much of people wanting strength to just keep going. And, you know, he's promised to give us strength, so we can believe him for that. Pike County, Wanda, pray for herself. She has COPD. Uh, from Pulaski County has infection in her feet or their feet. Uh, Thelma, Thelma from Madison County. Uh, she has children, grandchildren, great grands, and the great great grands. So uh, we we're all the time saying Thelma has to pray a long time to cover all of those. And I'm I'm glad the Lord knows every one of them. And uh, we should pray for our families because no one loves our families like we do. No one's going to pray for them like we do. So that's why our obligation is and our privilege is to get to pray for God's protection over our family, our loved ones, or uh, ever who that we're associated with. From Laurel County, um, Wanda, July the 10th is having hip surgery. Uh, Nadine has called for Charles and uh, okay there's uh, several things there and uh, also we heard from uh, little michael barnes he's still in the hazard nursing home in jackson and hazard hazard and he's needing some to buy some batteries for his wheelchair and uh, so we'll we'll put that in as a prayer request uh, michael and the lord knows what we need and so uh, we want, to, we want to pray for all the churches. If you're able to get out and go to church, you really should appreciate it and get up and go. But if you can't, well, stay tuned to WRJC. We have some good programs on, on Sunday that you can go to church that way. But right now, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that you know all about us. We can feel completely at ease with you because we can't, uh, we can't tell you anything about us that you don't already know. And we know that you love us. You died to save us. And so, Lord, I just pray for those tonight that 
are, they don't have peace in their heart, in their home, in their relationships. As you see people on a daily basis, we wonder, well, how do they stand with the Lord? Are they ready to go? Should they be in an accident or heart attack or something? We should be ready, and we can be. That's the good part, we can be. And we thank you that you've made it possible that we can go to that Beulah land. That was, That is such a, a beautiful description of telling us what heaven's going to be like. I think a lot about heaven and our loved ones that's there. They're waiting for us. But let's live to where that we won't have any doubt about going where we want to. Bless this group tonight, Lord, uh, and continue to help them do what you want them to, our staff and everyone, Lord, you know who is in need tonight, so especially in the spiritual realm. And we thank you because we know you have told us to come to you and bring our requests, and we know that you have also told us that you will meet our needs, and we praise you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, sounds like some more requests just came in. But, uh, so we'll see if we can get them, get them on. But we appreciate uh, those of you that are looking to the Lord for help. You know, uh, man's help is good, but it doesn't go very far. You know, I appreciate what doctors and nurses and the medical uh, people can do for us. But, you know, there comes a time they're... they're uh, resources is gone. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can get these on here. Mary from Laurel County for she's not feeling well and she wants to stand strong. Well, I tell you, the more you say in the word, the more you pray will help you. It said pray for the ones having a rough day for whatever reason. God knows all about it. Yes, that is true. That's just what we were just talking about. Josephine, also her son from West Liberty. Uh, may have to have his uh, have to have her um, a toes amputated. Joyce from Johnson County, three ribs broken. Dennis from Breathitt County for uh, uh, praying for the telephone. And uh, all right, uh, okay, we uh, we are uh, going to include those. And so uh, our time is gone. So from all of us, we want to say good night. And God bless you. Thank you for being part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. Well, these this things are so hard to take off. Your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311 or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. We also accept Venmo and PayPal. Just scan the QR codes to donate. May God bless you.